Hello, well this is an introduction to setting up TouchPlate on my MPCNC using the Arkin board. My MPCNC has got a cutting area of around 390mm in the X and the Y. I've got a Chinese spindle on there, soon to be upgraded to a Makita router. We have a speed control for the spindle, the Arkin board and the software I'm using CNCJS on my MacBook Pro. As you can see I have my touch plate and the bit connector. This is wired to the Z-min end stop connector on the Arkin board. I'll shut up a picture um, overlay just to show you that. The red wire is connected to the S and the black wire is connected to the minus pin on the minimum end stop on the Z. What I like to do first is because I thought I had some dodgy wiring is I like to test the Z probe before even connecting it up and have everything crash into the board. So I'm going to hold the connector onto the touch plate as you can see and then I'm going to run a G28, uh, not a G28, an M119 which is just to test the end stops. You'll see this come up on my computer screen in just a moment. So I'm going to raise up my Z just so I can get the probe underneath. There we go. I'm going to put the probe underneath and then I'm going to connect the uh, bit to the other end and now I'm going to run the G28 code which will probe that stop There is, as you can see I've run a macro so what it does is it runs the G28Z and then it sends the G92 and sets the Z to the thickness of my touch plate. Probes down. Goes back up, comes back in for the touch and then stops. And then disconnect the bit and remove the touch plate. So now, all being well, he says, when I home the Z-axis, it should literally just touch my spoil board. And there we go, it's literally kissing the board. 